Another Tuesday. Hey, my partner's back. I, I feel You're, like it's been like six months since I've been here. It's not, no, it's not, but I you know. were missed. I, it's been forever. I did this show solo. I know. And people went like this. All the guests said, yeah, it was good, but uh, yeah, we missed Karen. No, they didn't. No, I'm not kidding. Lisa Perry felt naked. <laughs> she felt completely naked. She said, you guys just react so well to each other. I'm yeah. telling you the truth. It's you were missed. Whole, Welcome whole, back. Yeah, we got a whole lot of crazy going on. You know, here's what I want to do first. We have a sponsor. I know you guys are going to look right into the camera on this one. You guys always see Maloney heading off the show. I'm going to give you a little live commercial from my friend Peter Maloney, okay. Maloney Funeral Homes. And basically, yep. just want you to know that this company is so established, 100 years, seven locations, uh, family-owned. They own their own crematory. And I can't say enough about, uh, first of all, their support they give to the Port Jeff Pulse. Early on, they came on. They supported us. Yes. So I want all of our listeners and viewers to support them. Yes. Hopefully you don't need them. But we all know, know. that inevitably we do need the services of a great funeral home. Absolutely. Like Maloney Funeral Home. So I, wa I wanted to say that. Hey, Pete. Hi, Pete. Craig, say hello to Pete. Hey, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> so first guest of the morning is Craig Make Den Hartog, a dear Make friend, has to be 25 years. Everybody's my friend for 25 years. I don't have any two-year-old friends, except Ryan. He's two months. <laughs> 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 Ryan's here in the morning. He's not a morning person. Our PA and audio extraordinaire. We love to have Ryan. He's very good. So Craig, Karen, if you didn't know, because I know you guys just met, no. is an expert, what you would call, Craig? A horticulturist. My, my main job is to you know keep lawns and landscapes healthy and green. And you mentioned the word protection. Yeah, landscape protection. Landscape protection. Uh, yes, uh, people make a big investment in their home. They make a big investment in their landscape. So uh, proper care, you know, proactive program will uh, protect that investment. Love that. So what are all the services that your company does? And I know you have some winter services too. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that. Uh, I believe you still have those winter services, yes. right? So just give me the gamut of the services, and is it both commercial and residential? It is. It is commercial and residential. Um, you know, lawn care is our main focus. Uh, we do tr uh, organic lawn care mm -hmm. and organic approach lawn care. We, oh, you uh, like that, right? right. We have clients you know, that do expect a higher level of um, you know, maybe weed control and insect control. So I am a certified applicator, and I can do that. If and when it's needed, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times what goes wrong is people expect blanket application. Blanket applications in most instances are not necessary yeah. and overdoing it. And uh, a lot of times there's actually more chemicals in one bag of product that you can buy in the oh. store than I would need to apply on a lawn the entire year. Wow. So, uh, again, the right stuff at the right time. Right. That's what I recommend. Long Island is known for its, uh, I know this is changing a bit, uh, but it's, it's, you know, half acre, one acre plots of lush green lawn. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot to do that. It mm -hmm. takes a lot of care to do that. I only remember my father laying down a little bit of uh, what he called fertilizer, mm -hmm. right? Right, to make the lawn, what, more plush? What is the actual thing that fertilizer does to a lawn to make it look better? Basically, it's nutrients. It's nutrients. So uh, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and, and potassium are the main multivitamins vitamins that a lawn needs. Mm -hmm. Thing is, a lot of that is already in a healthy soil. So what we may have done over the last 20, 25 years is overchemicalized the soils. Right. And yeah. depleted the soil. Yeah. So again, if, you, if, your health, if your soil is healthy, you could diminish your inputs tremendously. And that even includes water. A healthy soil will retain more moisture. Which means you don't have to water as much. Exactly. We do overwater. Yeah. I know I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 amazing. Now you went to school for this. You would have mm -hmm. had to have, right? Mm -hmm. Did you go to Farmingdale? Went to Farmingdale. Yeah, it's a great program there, right? It really, really is. You know, it was originally an ag school. Yep. Uh, but it you know transformed into a horticultural school. Right. And awesome. now it's uh, it's even it's expanded more even more technical, obviously for the future. Let's jump on the one services that you were concerned with. I uh, you actually applied for me, and I was uh, uh, surprised at the way you did it. Tick tick control. Mm -hmm. uh, it was about uh, five six years ago. It seemed to be a, an especially bad year. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of pines on my property. How do you treat that? How do you like to treat that? I remember that was organic, I thought. Yes, we do have organic you know, uh, solutions for that. Uh, we use uh, Echovio, Echovia, and uh, Essentria, which is basically rosemary oil. And that in Sounds like stuff Cameron would put on our face. Well, <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. You know, they, they comment on us when we stop in for a lunch th spot how, how good we smell. <laughs> but it, it has contact control. So it's really, it's proper application. You get good, you know, proper contact. 
you can, you know, control that pest. Right. So, okay, we talked about two services, tick control. We talked about lawn care. What about shrubbery? It, um, yes. Encompassing the landscape, uh, we recommend uh, at least four inspections, you know, a year. Now, I say inspections. I don't actually say treatments. Yeah. But uh, it typically is an inspection and treatment. For as preventative measures. Exactly. Right. The, um, but again, you know, for some insects, if there's no insects there, no treatment is needed. Mm -hmm. You know, so you need to know the biology of the pest. You need to know what's uh, going to be out in the landscape. Uh, what what plants you know would could be suffering from these insects? And that, that changes year to year, doesn't it? Maybe not year to year. But but decade to decade, season to season. Well, we are seeing an extended, you know, uh, an earlier warm up, and a later cooled, you know, uh, cooled um, overall. Overall. Yeah. So uh, insect uh, windows. Have have expanded, right? You know, so that yeah, is our concern. And like, and the ticks don't die. Now you got to put the, they when, on, when they're on you. You got to take care of that. Terrible. Yeah. No, they hibernate. So they're coming out of hibernation now. They're questing a blood meal. That's they, amazing. They are hungry. Oh, they are hungry right now. Now you know what? One day I ask you. I don't see this too much around here, but where there's real big money, like in Southampton, I'm looking at the estates. Mm -hmm. They put the shrubbery to bed. They literal. Canvas, Cover it yes, with that. But I mean, like burlap stuff. acres and acres, and I know that costs a lot. And they, I've seen people build actual wood instructions. Mm -hmm. Why do they do that? It's basically to create a, a windbreak. You know, if there is um, on the ocean, there would be more wind, right? Yeah. Um, but e even in going around buildings, you know, wind speeds will, you know, speed up when it goes around a building. So uh, plants that are in that type of environment can suffer windburn. Right. Now, you can do that with um, uh, apply uh, what we call wilt proof and anti desiccant spray, which is really a, a, uh, really just a wax coating. It's not a pesticide or anything oh, like that. And that minimizes okay. the desiccation or the wind burn that can happen in the winter. What was that word you just used? Desiccation. De not des defecation. Right, no. <laughs> des no, I never heard that word. It's a fantastic word. Des desiccation. Desiccation. Defecate. But probably We're not going to use that. <laughs> But proper planting could actually avoid that. So if you put the proper plant in the proper place, you would, you know, can you wouldn't minimize. even have to do that. Right. But again, I, the, the, I was looking at super mansions, mm -hmm. like twenty-five, thirty million dollar on the ocean. So hey, they they can blanket oh. there. Yeah. There was more nicer blankets on those bushes <laughs> than are on my bed. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you some pictures of that. All right. So we covered tick, shrubs, lawn. What else? Because I know you do it all. Oh, you're at the show. Th this past weekend, you're at the Brookhaven mm -hmm. Home and Garden Show. Exactly. And this will air by the time I think you're there this Saturday and Sunday. Yes. What can people learn from your booth there? Awesome. And what? Because I know you spent a lot of time really making it look nice. And yeah. You flowers. Well, be, and um, I, you know, I've been a horticulturist for 30 years. So um, my job, again, main focus, lawn care, landscape protection. But it's educating clients. You know, so uh, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher of my employees. Uh, I educate my clients, but also educate the other landscapers that I work for because yep. I do a lot, a lot of work for the trade. And uh, things it change, and change is good, you know, if you take it the right way. And there are new practices. There's new best management practices. A lot of homeowners aren't aware of it. The simple thing of cutting higher, you know, uh, the tall the cut, the deeper the roots, the deeper the roots, the stronger the grass plant. Cut, cutting your grass higher. higher. Leaving it higher. Uh, mm -hmm. leaving it, which it creates a deeper root. Root zone. Right? Well, and the go. deeper the roots, the stronger the grass plant. You know, leaving the grass clippings. You know, I was going to ask you that. It's not necessary. And I understand for neatness and, uh, look, and, appearance. and, and look and so yeah. forth. And the kids dragging it you know, into the pool and so forth. Um, but if you could leave 50% of your grass clippings on an annual basis... That's that's an improvement. It's an improvement to the soil, improve it to the landfills. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an improvement to the to the. That's a great tip. Yep. Because that puts all the nitrogen and everything back Absolutely. in, right? Absolutely. Grass clippings are ninety percent water, ninety percent water. So they're going to dry out. You know, pretty much evaporate. By a the lot. time you cut yep. the lawn the next time. Yep, exactly. So you're just leaving that organic matter and actually nitrogen. You know, it's good, it's, good it's fertile. Stuff. It's fertilizing the soil. Excellent. And the same thing with grass, uh, with the leaves. Um, again, we do our cleanups too well, too well. Um, what's a tree's food? Last year's leaves. So it's better to put them back into the soil wherever possible. Right. Some people capture them. Some landscapers that we work with are trying to be organically friendly, and they'll chop their leaves. When it gets heavy around, you know, Halloween, mm -hmm. you know, they'll they'll take some away. But again, you know, if you can get, if you can, you know, leave some of them. 
again, it's, it's saving everything. Everything we're doing on the landscape is not sustainable. You know, you have to put things back into, into the soil. Naturally. Mm -hmm. could, you, could you, like, create this really fine grind of the leaves and mix that in with mulch? Oh, absolutely. It, it, absolutely. It, Compost, they call that, right? Yeah, you can make mulch out of that. Okay. Now, we have some uh, clients, you know, they have a, you know, a small utility area. Okay. You know, so they don't mind, you know, piling, piling that up. up. Now, you there. can create a pile of chopped up leaves, or you can even put some of those leaves in black plastic bags. And again, I, I know that might not be pretty to look at, I know. but if it's in a far behind the shed, yeah. that can be next year's mulch in your flower beds. You know, so, so to pull everything off your property, yeah, I like to that. just have it trucked back in, you know, that's a little... It, it's nuts. It's, nuts. it's the Long Island way, though. <laughs> we'll get less nuts soon. Yeah. So again, all these are about plant-based maintenance and prevention. You op obviously work hand-in-hand -hand with landscapers who install these things. Exactly. Good friend of ours uh, together, of course, is like, for example, Mr. Montani, Montani Landscaping. I know from time to time you work in hand-in-hand. Uh, mm -hmm. -hand, one uh, in terms of planting, the other in terms of uh, taking care of afterwards isn't obvious. But here's a genius idea this man had was uh, in winter services. Mm -hmm. I love this. Do you still do it? The we do. Okay. Ready for this? Tell Chris us what it is. We, we uh, do Christmas How lights, much do holiday I need lighting. This? Oh, yeah. <laughs> holiday lighting and also event lighting and uh, uh, building lighting. Um, it actually was a great way to dovetail into my existing business and a good way to keep my busy. Yes, yeah. keep my uh, well-trained staff busy year-round <laughs> because, uh, you know, keeping and educating a staff is obviously, you know, Absolutely. number one thing to providing quality service to our customers. Right. So um, we do pr provide the holiday lighting. It's a lot of work and a little time, so we can't take on many new customers. Was it like 30 days? 30, um, 30 to 45 day window? No, it's, it's about six weeks up. Six okay. weeks up and almost the same amount of time down. Okay. But um, it's something that we start, you know, in November, and it just just ramps right right up into into Christmas. If I ever get a little house again, another house again, you know what? Lisa knows this on ranch because I must fall down the stairs again, <laughs> and also built-in Christmas lights. Yes. <laughs> just turn the switch on. We actually we do now have. Uh, a lighting program that does provide that it actually goes. Are right, you kidding it me? It goes right into the fascia, and That's you, brilliant. and it's multicolor. It has different types of computer programs that you can actually. Oh do really? Yep. Yeah. Wait, and you leave the lights up? Or you're They're right? built in. It's it actually almost looks like molding on the house. Yeah. Oh. You like that? That is yeah. that is an option. Yeah. It is an option. Right now, it's you know, probably priced out more for commercial applications. Okay. But um, it is something down the line. Right, it's, it's happening. So how, how long have you been in business? I've been in business for over 30 years. And wow. prior to that, I worked you know, with my father, who was in a similar business. Okay. So pretty much uh, you know, born and bred. Congratulations. Yeah. That's yes. amazing. He works with his hands in the dirt. <laughs> That's awesome. Unlike me, I work with <laughs> microphones and wires. <laughs> That's awesome. Fantastic. It's fantastic. What else do you want to tell us? You got a season that's really ripping upon us. You know, it's been no no secret. It's been really really cold weather. It's been mm -hmm. it's a very interesting March. That's it, all over soon, right? Right, has to be. Right. No, we'll catch up soon. Yeah, it'll catch up soon. You know, these uh, couple cool weeks. You know, it's not going to you know slow down spring at all. Right. It'll come. You know, it'll right. come fast. But actually, the way we tell time is by looking at the bloom starting to. You know, starting to come out of the soil, mm -hmm. and that's actually what I like to. You know, also, you know, my little uh, passion project is called Old Town Blooms. Yes. And uh, you know, over the last seven years, uh, we planted over twenty thousand daffodils up and down Old Town Road. So, uh, a lot of people know, you know, Old Town's Road up here. It goes. It's it pretty much ends here at twenty five A, but it continues through East to talk it down into Port Jeff Station where I live. I live close to uh, Buttercup Dairy. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everybody ah, knows everybody knows okay. that as a local landmark. Okay. And then uh, through uh, uh, Selden, and then ends at uh, 112 in Corum. Yep. Okay. So it's 7.3 miles long. And uh, we've been uh, basically started out uh, in my neighborhood where my corner is. It really okay. started out as a conversation <laughs> with my neighbors around a barbecue. And... Uh, you know, sharing a couple beers, sharing a couple burgers. Um, a f you know, a few of the neighbors were complaining about the litter, you know, up at the street corner. Um, some people, uh, you know, said, you know, let's call the town. Some people blamed some other neighbors. Um, I said, I, I've heard these complaints before. It wasn't anything new to me. So uh, 
it's, but, I, but I basically said, what are you doing tomorrow morning? So uh, Sunday morning, the next day, we got up for, you know, we got up early like we normally do. Uh, just me and two other neighbors. We uh, litter picked, cleaned up the place. It took about an hour, and it looked so much better. It looks so much better. The, the, you're the model for change. You know, if you want change, start just, with right? yourself. Exactly. That's really awesome. I did not know that. I'm so mm -hmm. glad you brought that out. So it started there, and have you done the 7.3 miles, or that's the goal? Uh, we've actually done little pockets. Yep. So litter and debris, whenever we see a problem, we try to, we try to address it. That's awesome, Craig, really. But the fun part I was... I personally appreciate that. Well, the planting, but the fun part was the Yeah, planting. the fun part was the planting. The fun part was the planting. Uh, I had about a, a hundred extra bulbs, uh, so we planted them around Thanksgiving. And um, you know, the fun part about being a, a gardener, I think any true gardener knows, it's the anticipation, of, the anticipation of the bloom. So uh, sure enough, uh, next spring everything started to pop out, and then it got more and more exciting. And and people noticed, people saw, you know, that, mm -hmm. and uh, that just motivated us to do more. So uh, seven years later, we planted 20,000 bulbs. So how far have you gotten down Old Town Road? Well, uh, I have a couple little pockets up here in East Setauket. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just spoke to a couple neighbors, and they were all for it. I said, go for it. We planted a few bulbs. And again, just a clump of 20, 25 sure. bulbs. Um, you know, I call them... Um, I call them bloomsies. I don't know if you know the artist Banksy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I call my little things bloomsies. Yep. You know? Um, so we've done that. There's a lot down by where I am. Okay. I got one little stretch about of a quarter mile. And, you know, at 40 miles an hour, keep in mind it's a 30 mile speed <laughs> limit, but nobody does it. But at 40 miles an hour, it looks like a mass planting. Yeah, it's wonderful. But it's about every 25 feet, 20 bulbs. Okay. So that's nice. Okay, that's and awesome. Yeah, so everybody should take notice of that, that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great program. Well, that's what Karen Karaftis was talking about when mm -hmm. we had her yes. on about. Um, our mayor wanted these these little pocket areas to be filled with, you know, pockets. yeah, with with flowers you know that bloom. I do, I do. She's a wonderful person, and um, um, we, I consider her a bloomer. I think anyone that appreciates nature and yes. appreciates the blooms, and wants to beautify this, beautify the world, is a bloomer. You know, we all can be For bloomers. Sure. So uh, uh, I've donated some bulbs, you know, to the, you know, yes, and, uh, she mentioned. That. I only wear bloomers. <laughs> I'm just saying. I never heard the term. It's you were so lucky that I did not have any tea in my mouth when that came out of your mouth. You are so lucky right now. So awesome, Craig. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to mention to us or our viewing audience? No. Um, that uh, you know, we're looking forward to spring. Is any way we can help anybody? We've been more than happy to help. Yes. You know, we have great information. Let's talk on about your website. website. Uh, what is the website, please? Uh, EmeraldMagic.com. Very simple, right? Mm -hmm. uh, give, give us uh, a phone number, please. 631-286-4600. Excellent. Couldn't be a better time. I really had to have you on here because I figured this is the start of your year. And that's why I, you know, I really pushed to have you on, so it's fantastic. Um, and I'll see you at the show, too. Yeah, I was going to say, where is the home so, and garden show All right, show so it's every weekend. year. Uh, Daniel Esquadro is uh, he's he, he's really yes. a sponsor mm -hmm. with the town of Brookhaven, a mm -hmm. highway department behind it. They do a wonderful job. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what is the name of the building there at the? It's the Holtzville College That's site. That's right. Uh, so it's okay. the, you know some people call it the Brookhaven Zoo. Some people know right. it. The, the, Holtz, you go. You the love Holtzville it. pool is okay. down there. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a nice it's 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 nice. Secret that a lot of people aren't are aware of. Absolutely, you can feed the goats. You and you guys are there uh, uh, at least a couple of days early setting up. I mean, oh. these are serious booths. It's mm -hmm. not like they just come and put a table. They, you know, yeah, throw it's out a, a full landscape. Yeah, many setup, guys designed right? bricklayers. Okay. Anything to do with the season. With outdoor. Yeah. It's landscape. nice to see the blooms early. Yes. Yeah. And you'll meet fellow bloomers there. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, if you stop by our booth, uh, we'll give you a free gift. Oh. Yes, you do. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Craig. We'll see you at the show, and thanks for coming on. Thank awesome. you. Appreciate Thank it. You.